Hi, welcome to another Playing with Prologue. This week, we're not playing with Prologue, we're playing with Mercury with Dr. Paul Bone. G'day, I'm Paul Bone. Um, I'm uh, here today to tell you a bit about the Mercury programming language. Hi, Paul. Uh, so, what is the Mercury language and how is it different from Prologue? I know it's related. The uh, Mercury is a logic programming language, so it's a lot like Prolog. Um, I like to say that it looks like Prolog, but feels like OCaml. And that's mostly owing to um, a strong mode determ determinism and type system, um, which, uh, which works well for creating large, uh, reliable programs. So uh, it, all, it looks a lot like Prolog, but you say it feels more like Cam OCaml. Uh, why is that? Sure. Um, it's uh, mostly because it has a strong type system, a lot like OCaml or Haskell's. Um, I, and I pick OCaml because, um, because Mercury and OCaml are both eager, which changes a lot of how uh, programs tend to behave. Between the strong type mode and determinism systems, um, Mercury uh, programs are, are very efficient. Yeah, it sure looks like Prolog. It, it does look like Prolog. It has a lot of the same syntax. So you say Mercury is different and more efficient because of strong type, mode, and determinism. Uh, let's take each one of those and define what they mean. Um, so first, the type system um, is... Uh, it supports strong static types um, using a Hindley Milner type system. So that's a lot like Haskell if, uh, if uh, the viewers have seen, have used Haskell before. Um, and this generally, we're already aware, helps create reliable uh, programs in, in languages like Haskell and OCaml. Um, for modes, uh, this is a big one and a big difference from Prolog. Um, in Prolog, uh, as you write your code, you think of things as being inputs and outputs, but you don't always write it down and tell the tell uh, the interpreter what's going on, what your intention is. In Mercury, you do write those modes down and say this parameter is input and that parameter is output, and uh, Mercury will create more efficient code based on that, and also do some um, er some mode checking uh, to make sure that things make sense. Um, that you do say. If uh, when your program finish, when their predicate finishes, that any output has been given a value. Um, and finally, determinism. The determinism system is a way to say this predicate has exactly one solution, or more than one solution, or an unknown number of solutions. And this also, it helps the the compiler will use this to check your work. Um, and it's also used to create uh, more efficient uh, code when when it can. So can you show us some code? Sure. Uh, here we have a pen uh, written in Prolog. Um, it's uh, pretty basic, and I assume that most of your viewers are going to be familiar with it. Um, let's take a look at the differences with Mercury. In the uh, Mercury version, we have the same code here. Uh, it's, it's identical to the other file, um, but there's a little bit more ceremony, as you may notice. Uh, first, at the top of the file, we have the module declaration. Um, all code has to be in a named module. Uh, it's the same as the file name, and there's, uh, uh, that's important. And each module has uh, some public things that are exported and things that are kept private. So the, the interface of the module are the things that other modules can access while the implementation are the hidden things. So in this case, we want to expose uh, my append so that other modules can call it. And we do that by placing the type declaration in the interface section here. Uh, the type declaration itself says that my append is a predicate. Uh, it takes three arguments, and they're all lists of some type T. Uh, Mercury supports generics, and so the the item type in the list here is abstract, but each of the parameters is a list. So is this a working program? Um, I know that we need to specify modes and determinism. 
That's right. Um, there's there's both modes and determinisms missing. Let's add the mode declaration now. A, uh, a predicate can have multiple modes. Uh, here I've just written one, and we can add some more later if you like. Uh, this is so the mode declaration for my append says that the first parameter is input, the second parameter is input, and the final parameter is the output. So this works simply appends two lists and returns you the, the resulting list. And what about determinism? You can add, uh, you need to add a determinism a declaration as well, and that's simply, it goes at the end of the mode declaration. And in this case, it's spelled is debt. In prologue, this of course is a multi-modal uh, predicate. Is, uh, is it possible to do that in Mercury? Sure. Uh, all we need to do is add some extra mode declarations for the same predicate. Um, here's some now. Oh, they're not quite right. Let's fix the predicate. Thing. And um, now we have m more mode declarations for for other modes such as in in in, in out in, and out out in. And we can see that for these modes of the same predicate, we have different determinisms. So that means that this can will produce either zero or one solutions. That means it can fail, but it won't create a choice point. And multi means that it has more than one or more solutions. And now it's a runnable program. So what advantages do we get out of this extra declaration? The first benefit um, of declaring modes and types and determinisms is that you can uh, it's easier to write large-scale software. The compiler will help you out more. Rather than getting runtime errors, as you might in Prolog, where Prolog just says no, because you forgot to cover an atom in your code, Mercury will give you a compile error, uh, usually a determinism error in that specific case. But the benefit that everybody gets excited about is the performance. Mercury, for each mode of each predicate, Mercury compiles the code separately, putting the goals in the, in a, the correct order for that uh, for that mode. And when there's only one solution, such as the deterministic code, um, it doesn't, it, it creates much more efficient code in that case. Uh, so what kind of speed up can we expect out of this? The last time we had a look at benchmarks was a long time ago. Uh, benchmarks comparing with other prologues, that is. And uh, we found that it was twice as fast as the next fastest logic programming language, uh, Aqueous Prolog, and uh, about five times faster than Sixtus. So here's a, another program, a Mandelbrot Image Generator. Um, you can see that it, that it generates a, a simple Mandelbrot image. Um, it's written in Mercury. We can uh, run it. It takes just a few seconds. And if we run it in parallel, takes a lot less time. Parallel execution uh, in that example is introduced by the parallel conjunction operator here. So instead of writing a comma uh, to for the normal conjunction operator, if you write ampersand, then in certain compilation settings, you can have parallel execution. So uh, uh, what's the status? Is, are there any like commercial users of Mercury? Uh, yeah, there, are, there aren't many commercial users, but there are a few. Uh, I work for a company called Yes Logic, and we use Mercury to develop our typesetting software. Um, there's also Mission Critical IT in Belgium, and uh, and another company here in Melbourne called Opturian, and they do um, uh, industrial optimization. Are there open source project projects using Mercury? So there are a few uh, open source users of Mercury. Um, there's uh, you can always search on on GitHub for projects using a particular language. Um, there's the email client Bower, and the but the the big project uh, using Mercury is Mercury itself. It's self-hosted, and currently the compiler is at about four hundred and seventy thousand lines of code. Uh, Paul, this has been great. Uh, thank you for being with us today on playing with Prolog. Mercury's fascinating. I'm going to be spending a lot more time fiddling with it.
No worries, Anne. I was uh, very happy to be here, um, and I'm happy to come back again if you uh, if you want to talk some more. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, would love to have you back to hear more about about Mercury. But for now, that's it for playing with Prologue.